one thing we've noticed is that um, many times when we watch these bus life videos, that there's not enough depiction about what it takes to get road ready. Yeah, many things obviously stay in one spot on these buses because if they were driving, they would be falling all over the place. And we drive this bus a lot, so we decided that it would be nice to have a video about what we do before we drive because there's actually quite a few things like you can see a bunch of cabinets right there that would just fly out. Yeah, hit the brakes and drawers are flying all over the place. So we're going to show you what we do to batten down the hatches. At night when we're sleeping, if we're in a campground or we're at someone's house with neighbors, we like to have the curtains up, but we don't need them on our property. So they need to go away somewhere. This is easy to come off. We have two of them and I just store them up here. And then much of the family is not very good at putting away their shoes. So I got to put away the shoes. And I also, when doing that, realize how dirty the floor is. And I like to also put away the runner that's on the floor. So it's about this time where I say, well, I guess I better sweep everything. So another part, you don't want stuff blowing because it also gets really hot and we need to have the windows open when we're driving mostly. You don't want dust blowing all over you. Man, it's been so long since <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We're not done running power in our bus yet. Um, so sometimes when we need power in a spot like this new monitor that we put up, we've got to run extension cords around, which is a real hassle, but um, it's also helping us learn where we do want to have power later. I'll also have to get all of my junk off of the counters and open spaces. Oh, and show my beer. Depending on what we're bringing with us. Sometimes I need to put the runner away. Like if we have a big cooler in here, then it goes sliding all around. And if I need to do that, I either put it on top of that black cover, which right now has paper towels on it, or I put it under here. And that just stays out of the way. The next part that I do is I need to put these curtains away. You can see they're pretty wrinkly. Um, if you don't put them away, then they're like, like that when you're driving. And that's really, really annoying. So just pick this off. And I have a little bungee here. All that really needs to happen because of this thing is for this bungee to be on something. It doesn't have to be on all of them. This one over here, you bungee, have to bungee it up because it doesn't have anything pinning it backwards. Okay, so next, this has to go somewhere. This fan is actually uh, recent for us in the bus. So back here, you'll see I have these, which I would also hang up all of our sweatshirts on there. And then we got this new hook we made out of random hangers. Just hang it up and it actually, because of these, it doesn't make sound when we move. And also, the ladder can't be here, so I just put this up on there. What curtains we are using in the back really depend on where we are parking, because we like to have this door open, so sometimes there will be a curtain there if we're worried about neighbors, but we have to have the door closed for the back curtain. Like here, we just have... A sheet that I've hooked up. It's quite easy to put down. And then it just hides. And then Ryan can see out the back of the window. And then this one just comes down as well. This back area 
when we're driving becomes very much where we put things when we don't have a spot for them. So I'll show you up here. We have some luggage that needs to come back here. So down here, when we're parked, right now we don't have a chair for right here. And so this is our junk drawer. <laughs> I really don't like it looking like this, but when you're traveling, son has to have his backpack and that's his luggage. This is Ryan's carry-on. We have so many bags because we live in India that we don't always have room in the very back of the bus. So we have to do things like this. Yes, I also am using that space. So all of this stuff will go back there. These don't need to go there because they stay where they're at. I love this cabinet, except these doors do not stay very well at all. We found out the hard way when we were driving and everything fell out. So we got these kid lock things. And you just put it on here, like that. Now, when you open it, you do have to be careful because things do push forward and sometimes things will fall out. But we don't have glass because of that. So in here, you, we will only have plastic cups or metal cups because we don't want things to break. And then in the shower, this goes flying a lot. We use this so that there's a little bit of privacy when we're using the toilet. Um, but it goes flying everywhere. So I roll it a little bit and I put it between these. And I take this and I do the same thing. And that holds up perfectly in place. Now, when we are parked, we like to keep stuff up here, but when we're driving, it absolutely has to go in here or it will go flying. Nothing stays up there well, not even towels. So there's no towels in the bathroom because I have to keep them in the black cabinet, otherwise they'll fall off. Or sometimes I'll just put them on the floor. You'll notice there's things in here because we were driving yesterday. So the laundry will be here. Raven's potty will be here. I take this down. It will also go in here. This also becomes a catch-all for awkward things. So we have a head that comes up here, but while we're driving, it comes down here because it will fall off. And this comes down Where is everybody? and just lays in there. Okay, we also have this pipe for our heat water heater and it does go flying if you don't take it down. So I take it down. Just store it in the bathtub and then we don't need this. Okay, so quite a few things happen here. First, usually this is up here, but I've already put it here because we traveled. Then my coffee pot needs to go somewhere. I'm going to put it down here, which I moved the water. And this was already falling out, so we've now just bungee corded it in place for eternity. And I just make sure the bungee goes around that. And then the refrigerator will fly open. So we use these little child locky things that we got. That keeps that. All right, now there is does some more things over here do need to happen. First, I want this under here someday, but right now it's not. So I put it here. And then I put my water back here. And this also becomes when we're driving, if Raven wants something and I put in a bowl, then the bowl goes right in here for when we're done. These don't move, so they're fine. This can be a big problem. So we have these three hooks. There's a hole on top. See the hole there that Ryan made? So I get it in there. And then there's a hole down here. And they'll come out a little bit, like maybe like that, but nothing falls out of them and they don't come out very far. So that's that part. And the paper towels go flying. So we have this nice rubber band that we leave there. And these go flying, so I put them right here. 
Before we got the cabinets, there was a lot of stuff down here that would get moving around and we would have to make sure that they were tucked tightly in under there. But now we have cabinets and we put in these child or these things. So they stay nicely. Ooh, here's another thing we have to do to get ready. I almost forgot. So, yes, the plumbing isn't completely finished yet. So, we take this out, and I take out the bucket, I empty it, and then this often falls out. So I just leave it in the bucket when we're driving and put it back up when we're done. We have a new problem now that we have the cupboards in place. It used to be that there was stuff in there to trap this garbage can, but now there's not. So we've put another bungee around here and just attach it to the back of his seat. And we've got this kind that locks, so you make sure that it's locked. Only problem is sometimes when we're driving, I have to move it a little bit for if Ryan has to put his seat down, it gets caught sometimes. Oh, here's one more thing I almost forgot. These cupboards also can go flying. So uh, this cassette toilet came uh, as part of our, our shower um, and we actually had to buy a new cassette because the way that it was configured was to come out of the other side which was going to be really inconvenient. So we bought a new cassette um, but we bought this tub enclosure um, used. Uh, so we, we bought the cassette, it, it slides out and then uh, I'll, sh I'll just show you how that works. What you do is you push it in a little bit and then there's this lever. Just push that part down as you slide it out to remove the, remove the cassette. Then you could dump it into Really, you could dump it in the toilet, you could dump it into the RV dump stations, or into a, a vault toilet like I'm about to. So before I drive, there's a couple of things I make sure that I'm all ready with. Aside from getting the rig started, make sure that I've got some water and my sunglasses. Make sure that my wallet is here and available. Sometimes you gotta pay tolls and things like that from the seat. Um, the pedals on this vehicle move forward and backwards so i spend a little bit of time getting the, my seat adjusted you can see right here that the trash can sometimes get, uh, gets underneath so i make sure that i'm not on the trash can um, and then adjust my seat to get all comfortable and that's about it 